Dealing with disappointment after a relationship comes to an end. The way you deal with the agony of ending a relationship will ultimately determine whether or not you will continue to be unhappy for the foreseeable future. Disappointment, while not as common as grief, is an unpleasant part of everyday life that stands in stark contrast to happiness and should be avoided. To properly treat grief, you will need the assistance of a medical professional as it is a serious condition that requires professional intervention to properly treat. As a common but unpleasant aspect of everyday life, disappointment is something that everyone encounters at some point in their lives and must deal with at some point in their lives. Unpleasant yet common aspect of everyday life that everyone encounters at some point in their lives. Disappointment stands in stark contrast to the serious illness known as sadness which requires the intervention of a medical professional in order to be properly treated. Regardless of how your relationship ends up, your mental well-being as well as your ability to find someone who is perfectly suited for you in the future may be called into question. Any way your relationship ends, it is possible that you will begin to question whether or not you are suffering from a mental health disorder, rather than simply being delusional. You may be unable to change the course of events that have occurred in the past, but you can learn to cope with your feelings of disappointment so that you are better prepared for your next romantic relationship in the near future. The first step in learning how to cope with your disappointment after your romantic relationship is called off is to avoid depression. That is, make sure that you are not depressed. I know that avoiding getting depressed can be difficult to do, depending on individual's situation. Some people may find that the process of recovering from disappointment in a romantic relationship is significantly more difficult than the process of recovering from disappointment in a friendship. According to Michael Miller, a writer for Opera.com who has written about the subject, getting over disappointment in a relationship. The recovery process from disappointment of a romantic relationship can be much harder to navigate than the recovery process following any other type of disappointment. According to the results of his research, he discovered that recovering from a failed romantic relationship is significantly more difficult than recovering from a failed friendship or family relationship. In addition to hopelessness, long-term sorrow or emptiness, guilt or worthlessness, difficulty sleeping or eating at night, suicidal ideation and depression can manifest itself in a variety of ways. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, seek help from a professional therapist. Severe depression is characterized by the presence of suicidal thoughts or attempts to commit suicide, which is one of the most distinguishing characteristics of the condition. Suicidal thoughts or attempts in severe cases are common as is the presence of depression-related feelings of worthlessness or guilt. Also, chronic anxiety is a condition that has a variety of negative consequences for the brain's ability to function normally. It is also known as uncontrollable anxiety. Panic disorder is another term for this condition. Several reports have stated that this is associated with depression. Patients with depression have a higher likelihood of possessing such conditions when compared with those who do not suffer from depression. If you are experiencing any of these, obtain medical attention as soon as possible in order to prevent potentially life-threatening complications from occurring. So, it is important not to overlook the unavoidable aspects of life. The second step is disappointment that is manageable. It helps you develop and mature because it enables you to gain a thorough understanding of the advantages and disadvantages of various aspects of your life as well as by instructing you on how to maintain a healthy balance between these various aspects of your life. Perhaps you've been inspired in the past, or perhaps you've been disappointed in the present, and perhaps you'll strive to accomplish something even greater and better in the future. It's almost certain that the combination of all of these factors will be beneficial to you in the long run. According to some analysts, the author of an article published in the journal The International Journal of Psychoanalysis, the author argues that small and controlled disappointments can help you become better prepared to deal with larger disappointments in the future, because they increase your ability to cope. As your ability to cope with stress will be strengthened as a result of these experiences, if you make the decision to end your relationship, you will be able to learn from your mistakes and move on with your life afterward. Despite the fact that it may be difficult at first, 
It is recommended that you prepare yourself for a roller coaster of emotions during this period. According to the findings of a study conducted by David Esper and Robert Emery in 2005 on personal relationships, it is completely normal and beneficial that you have reached this point in your life and are going through this stage of the grieving process. The third step in coping with disappointment after a breakup is to let others know how you're feeling. The author of the blog article Coping with Disappointment on PsychologyToday.com, Diane Barth, points out in her blog post Coping with Disappointment that it's important to recognize that you're not alone in your feelings after a breakup. And it is possible to learn how to cope with the feelings of disappointment by talking to people who can help you. It takes precedence over everything else in our lives because we place a high value on the ability to spend more time with our friends and family than anything else in this period. Being honest about your feelings can be therapeutic, and it is essential in the healing process when it comes to mourning. Despite the fact that sorrow can manifest itself in unexpected ways if left unattended, you stand a good chance of receiving emotional support during this period of transition and change. Because you have such a strong network of friends and family members who are eager to lend a hand during this difficult time. Alternatively, it is possible that you are the type of person who prefers to keep his or her thoughts and feelings to oneself. Keeping a journal or writing yourself a letter might be beneficial in this situation. This will assist you in your efforts to communicate your thoughts and feelings to yourself on a more internal level. Lastly, it is recommended that you avoid communicating with your ex unless it is absolutely necessary, and only when the situation calls for it. Making contact with him or her should only be done if it is necessary to do so. If we are completely honest with ourselves, it is almost unavoidable that you will think about your ex and wonder how he or she is handling things at some point during your daily routines. After being put into the unenviable position of having your relationship ended as a result of your actions, it is only natural to reflect on what you could have done differently to avoid this unfortunate situation from occurring in the first place. Although learning about the other person's point of view can be reassuring for some people, experts assert that if conversations are not conducted properly, they can result in additional questions and dissatisfaction on both sides of the table. According to the author, the development of new relationships and memories is the single most beneficial thing you can do for yourself right now in terms of improving your physical and mental health. 